I've got some beautiful certified Angus beef ribeyes, an open fire to cook over, and a whole meal to go with it. So let's get cooking. So first thing, I'm gonna do this grilled romaine. We're gonna do a little grilled romaine Caesar salad, and I just wanna get it quick, sear on here. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna sear off these lemons that go in our Caesar dressing. Okay, that's just a little bit of char. I don't want a ton because it will start to wilt a little too much. A little char in the romaine, we're gonna do the grilled romaine Caesar salad, and Ashley is here to give me a hand. So I'm gonna have her chop up this romaine and make the salad while I get working on the rest of the meal. All right, now while the fire is raging, I wanna hit these ribeyes on. I'm gonna get them searing hot, and then we'll pull up the grate, cook the rest of the meal all over this fire. First thing, I'm gonna get all these seasoned well on one side, and then I'll put that side down over the fire. Certified Angus beef ribeye with the bone in it, and I got them as thick as I could because I like a thick cut steak for cooking over an open fire like this because I wanna get it searing, and then I wanna raise it up and let that heat slowly cook it, infuse a little more of that smoke, that wood-fired flavor onto them. All right, now I'll see these in that second side. So I'm going heavy with the salt. These are thick steaks, so don't be afraid. You wanna make sure they're properly seasoned. Now I'm just trying to make sure we get an even sear. I don't care if I pick them up, if I move them around. Some people say, don't touch your steak once it goes down. Over, over open flame like this, that's totally okay because they're still gonna sear. It's okay to mess with them. You're not trying to get diamond grill marks. You're trying to get the perfect flame kissed sear. All right, I'm gonna give these a quick flip. Start to sear that other side, and I'm gonna flip them back. I'm gonna kind of flip these frequently because I want to sear, but I also don't want a huge gray ring. So we're gonna flip these a few times. It's okay. Now we're getting somewhere, ooh. Okay, look at that. Woo! I feel like I'm starting to get the char I want and they're gonna continue to cook over high heat. So I'm gonna move them slightly to the cooler side, hit the carrots for a second, and we're gonna bring this grate up. So carrots, all right, and we're gonna get these on with the greens kind of hanging off the edge. And then I'm gonna give these ribeyes one more quick flip. Look at that crust, that's perfect. That's where we wanna be. Moving this to a slightly lower heat, okay? Want to get a little kiss of flame to these carrots before they go up as well, because I'm looking for a little char on them. That's what open fire cooking is all about. All right, now we will get the bacon whiskey onions going. So I'm gonna get this pan in here, let it preheat for just a second. So what's great about having this second tier to the grill, I can keep cooking while everything else is slow roasting. The bacon, whiskey, onions, and peppers, it's kind of a side, it's kind of a topping. It's a great complement to a beautifully grilled certified Angus beef ribeye. So I'm gonna start with the bacon. So that's nice. I don't want too high of a heat because I'm trying to render this fat because that's how I'm gonna cook my peppers and onions. The bacon's getting a little crispy. I'm using this slotted spatula because I wanna leave all that fat in the pan. Here I've got some thinly sliced Vidalia onions and some jalapenos because I like a little sweet with my heat. I like getting Vidalias in while I can because they're only available April through September and they got such a mild sweet flavor. They go with everything when I'm grilling in the summer. When I'm looking at this fire, I know that my steaks are getting close. Peppers and onions also almost done. Carrots got a little char, but they could go a little bit further. So now I wanna move the steaks kind of off of that heavier heat, which is right at this point coming from this side and let them finish up. And I'm gonna get my cast iron on because the potatoes are fully cooked. I'm just trying to fry them up to infuse them with a little bit of extra flavor, get them crispy, and also hit them with some fresh herbs. Move this fat around a little bit there, move that tallow a bit, coat that pan well. All right. Here we have some mini potatoes that were boiled whole in some salted water and then smashed once they cool down a little bit. Get them super crispy and nice. A great side to go on the grill. I'm gonna throw some fresh herbs right into this too. Yeah. Rosemary, some thyme. I think these are done. Yeah, done. I've got a clean sheet pan that I'm gonna pull these steaks onto. I've allowed these steaks to rest for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna tent them with foil because it's a little chilly out and I don't want them getting cold. 
I'm gonna leave a little room for air to flow. I don't want them to cook any further, but I do want to keep them warm. I rotated the carrots off. Um, I want the thicker part to finish over the heat while these thinner ends are fully cooked. These peppers and onions are pretty close to being done. I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of this whiskey. Deglaze that pan, okay. All right, let that cook and infuse. I've got some ramps. So I'm gonna go ahead and char those right over the open flame as well. One thing I love about ramps is they're kind of the spicy, garlicky, wild onion blend, and they grow wild around here. So I actually forage these myself, so they're a great treat, and they're only growing around here for a few weeks. My whiskey, Vidalia onions, and peppers are all done. They're nice and tender. The whiskey's reduced, they smell amazing. So I'm gonna get these off. Let those rest for a minute. And then just a nice topping to go with these carrots, I'm gonna toast some pistachios right on this flame. Pistachios will get chopped up with the ramps and that'll be a topping for my carrots. All right. These ramps have a little char. That's nice. And I'll go ahead and just start to give them a chop. And then what I'll do is once these pistachios are done, I'm gonna chop them together and make kind of like a charred ramp and pistachio topping for these carrots. Potatoes are all set so we can start plating up and finish this meal. What a way to elevate a meal for your friends. We've got the certified Angus beef ribeye cooked over an open flame. We've got the bacon, whiskey, Vidalia, onion, and peppers that make a great topping. We've got some potatoes fried in beef tallow, grilled carrots with a little topping we made on a whim, romaine salad also grilled over the open flame. A great way to culminate such a wonderful meal. Tell us which is your favorite in the comments.